Onivia League of Legends highlights. Hey guys, I'm the wise one. In this video, we're going to watch the best moments of the first game between Gen G versus Bilibili Gaming for the world's 2023 quarterfinals. Let's get started. Do have their summoners available, but even blowing them would already be a big win. Only cleanse on pays as well. On can look for that handshake. Delight standing in front. There's the ignite. Pays cleanses with a flash ball. Autumn Shen means that Pays pays the ultimate price. Bailout on On won't get him out of dodge this time. One for one trade in the bottom lane. The the play is worth it though overall for BLG one as well. I mean, Genji at this point in the game, obviously very early, should consider themselves much weaker. Only a few levels, and it can just keep information as to whether or not Peanut is trying any lane ganks. And you can see that PLG's game plan is so committed to Travis playing around bot. On's gonna get rooted, he doesn't have flash, remember. Flash forward by Peanut and On pays the price in the bottom lane. Gen G back on the board. Pays gets his second of the game. Doran trading in the top lane, Grandmaster's might. On to Bin. Bin tries to turn it back around. Doran trying to get the empowered autos off. Already worked his way up through this topside jungle. So if a dive does occur or materialize, Peanut is in the right position at the right time, and the Not Gods looking for something as they go forward. Bin has to flash away. Doran has a flash follow counter strike coming out, and Bin is locked up and sent packing by Genji. And Peanut is puffing this game has been as forced to flash. Um, we immediately saw the pings go down. However, Genji. I think it's as Herald. I don't know if Peanut his reinforcements are on the way. The light's on his way across. No fates call yet for Elk, so half the time on that. But they do have the hostile takeover if they want to look for more. Shun goes in, they find Pays. Cataclysm down with the Devour already used by Delight. And now the hostile takeover popping as well. The shield from Pays. He tries to cleanse away, but he's slowed. Severum's gonna heal him up, but Peanut pulled back with a handshake. And BLG win out the skirmish. Really big win there for BLG, and this is it the It would be the second of the game for BLG, and Delight's just being a nuisance. He knows they can't take this away. BLG get their second. Breakout standout players of the entire tournament. People were putting him in the conversation for best performing AD is Chovy. Gao has Flash, but he's not going to be able to get away from Pina, who lands the stun immediately. The Shockwave only catches onto Chovy, and Yagao is going to get chased down here. Chovy puts down the soldiers, and Yagao is buried beneath their feet. Doran with a good jump away, but Shun chases in and still it's only Shun that's picked up kills for BLG. And it's Lee, I think you can see he has a lot of these moments as the contest is going to come through. TP in, Shun can look for this, counter TP burnt by Yagao, Shun on the front line, Bin's going to dash across the wall, the rip out down to a thousand. Hostile takeover though is going to do so much work, Pays already berserk as the light is forced away and now Doran's in the midst of BLG and Bin is looking to send him packing into the recycling he goes. Come back next time as Bin chases the rest of Genji away. Genji picked this fight and they do not want it anymore. Chobi. Follow up damage thanks to the re engage from Shun and the way that the Cataclysm denied the rest of Genji entry to the fight. And then that allows Bin to pop off. Of Elk as well. Fantastic fight from PLG. Now they're in a comfortable lead against Genji. Just basically, what's their ability to identify we shouldn't do this and just go for a good cross map? And I think that that is something that internationally they just haven't really been able to show. And in this game, we're seeing it again. T1 is the team of, no, 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 we take the fight. We just hand stiff it, it's fine. Genji. The ball down, Peanut now going to try and chase forward, but Yagawa's in the right position to stop them. The Magnus Sword for Peanut, he's nowhere near them. It's just miles away. They got an EpiPen or something because Peanut not doing anything to them as BLG secured the ocean. And that was a Peanut at Worlds moment if I've ever seen one. The engage goes wide. Genji now don't have an easy way to start the fight. Doran. Gonna get brought back. Pops the stopwatch. Handshake coming out. Moonlight Vigil does hit the Inferno. There's the hostile takeover. Cataclysm onto the back line though, and Doran's been locked up. The Shockwave finds him. The Devourer comes out as Chovy starts to retreat, but already it's two kills to BLG. And Genji are found one. The ultimate gone. No Magnet Storm, no engage. There is nothing that they can do. Then the turn from BLG, who are more than happy to look for a fight. That's Soul, and that's Baron. What to do against this tower? He's getting a lot more work done. Doran can't do much to hold him off, and BLG at least will unlock a tier two. But off the back of this Baron, it seems difficult. For Genji behind him, right? So they can't go for a deep teleport flank. It's not like Chovy and Doran can get back on Axis. And the persistence is rewarded here for BLG. Also courtesy to the Ocean Soul in a situation. Yeah, Spawns, Elk starts it. Bin keeps Doran and Peanut at bay. No flash for Peanut, remember, just burns it. But he can get into this fight. The Shockwave finds Chovy, Delight, and Pay is now beginning to step it up. 
Devour available for Delight. Pace dodges the Berserk for the hostile takeover. Already finds one. And Bin is done with this game. The Elder secure. Pace tries to dash away, but Bin puts him in his place as BLG clean up in the river. And BLG immediately head towards the bot side of the map. Wave is ready. No turret standing there. Doran desperately trying to draw some attention, but it was not enough, and BLG take a resounding victory here in game number one, and it looks like Gen G and the side might have been half a year ago, but it's not looking that different in game number one. I tell you, let's hold a time between these two teams. It seems as BLG come out to an early lead and are able to snowball it away from Gen G. A few mistakes for Gen G. Doran as well in the top lane specifically had struggled into bin after a few good early forays and BLG never let go of the reins. Gen G respawning, but the Elder still stands on BLG and they can look for the fight. The Magnusorm finds two, but Pay's pulled back and he's just deleted by the laser. Peanut follows suit and BLG playing with Gen G as they clean it up to go 1-0 up in this quarterfinal. Shun's only death to the Nexus at the very end. An incredible game across the board from him in the jungle. I'm the wise one, and welcome to the second game between Gen G and Billabilly Gaming for the world's 2023 quarterfinals. Let's watch the best moments of this awesome game. We could see that with a handshake on Pays in the bottom lane. Warm hugs from Delight, that shield coming out, keeping Pays topped up around 300 health. The heal early here as they look for the chase. Elk and On both have their flashes. Elk already invested a ghost flash forward. Twisted advance, knocked back onto On. And Gen G played to this tune in game one. The bear now coming out and On will be brought back. And now Delight is next on the menu and Elk can turn it around. Double buff for him. It's gonna be two, but a great flash from Delight. Got escape from Elk. Two kills to be. And then he brought him back into range of Elk to get that execution. If nothing else, they were going to get a one for one. They turned it into two for one. Now BLG look for the dive. Knock up on door and he tries to flash away, but the chase is there and the ignite is ticking. Bing tanking the tower shots can flash away. Peanut trying to answer as well, but he can't face the might. Of a good play. Since then, he has been so consistent. He's been such an integral part of the 15 1 record that BLG maintained through the regular season. Shun here smites away. On is looking for a little bit more. They can harass. No flash Pace peanuts. has flash though. They look for Peanut. The handshake's gonna pull him back at Peanut. Even in the cozy campfire, we'll find nothing but death and despair. Pays now chased away, has the flash to get across the wall. They try and turn on to Shun, but they had a difficult early game. They had to find a big team fight to come back into that into that game. And then against G2, they looked very convincing for the large part outside of losing game two. Doran now going for a bit of a trade. Nice yeah, trade against Bin. Bin. on his way with the Nature's Grasp as well, but you can see Shun ready to react. Bin rooted up. Shun is on his way. The Equalizer down and Doran's burning. Bin trying to turn it around and Doran will fall the first and Peanut's buried next to his brother as BLG strike. Bin just... Ref They're not getting anything. The crazy thing is, Bin's the least of your worries. You yeah. yeah, like Elk had a 2k gold lead in the AD carry matchup. There's pressure all it across... Did as with a little bit of exaggeration any game we have seen at worlds as the tp comes up towards the top lane trophy's gonna knock bin back and finally gen g are finding something proactive bin is gonna try and get his way away here will fall down equalize on the wave to make sure it's cleared out gen g find a small glimpse of hope but oh they did have a ward in there but now that's the third drake of the game over to blg and it is looking dire for Gen G. I'm, I'm perplexed. I am. Like it has to have been what you were saying. That is a huge blunder. Harold now being dropped mid lane. That's going to unlock this tower. Hey, I'm a, I'm a glass full, glass half full kind of guy. Oh Wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't have really matter. It's it's fine. <laughs> you know that's the one. If you're going to do it in any game. That's in this, this game. Uh, but, you know, that's that's me. I, I have a, a bit of a personal stake, and then they go. They do okay, find engage Shun. He has the flash, goes in with the Cataclysm, and now there's the TP. Hostile takeover from On as well. It's going to catch two. The Equalizer down, and Chovy is burning in the river. Lava underneath this feed is Doran. Probably regretting that lack of flash now as Yagao catches him with the Shockwave. The EQ combo from Shun sends him to an early grave. And the Church of Chovy is onto them, but BLG just haven't been making too many mistakes through these games. There's the Nature's Grass as Gen.G look for something. Baron up in 10 seconds. If you find a fight here, maybe you can turn it into more. The hostile takeover being popped. Chovy dodges away from the Shockwave as Peanuts in the back of the pit. Doran trying He's to get out. onto Elk, but Elk yet untouched. And Doran, the warm hugs. 
are not enough to keep him alive as Elk flashes forward, Pays is about to meet his maker as Elk sends him into the dirt. And BLG about to take Baron and a resounding 2-0 lead in this series, surely from here on out, within a minute, the Infernal seeing the return of the regular season BLG. Yeah. It's been a, a bit of an up and down, well, few weeks, few months. Very, oh, Chovy. Neither of the mid lane is able to hit their ultimates in that trade. Yagao has a two level lead as well and now is chasing Chovy and Peanut down. Chovy has to flash away, Peanut trying to trade back in, but remember there's an Infernal Soul on this Oriana. The Sun Disc comes down as Pina continues to be forced away. The rest of BLG are looking for the Nexus. Yagao keeps everyone interested as the Equalizer popped on pace. Yes, TP. Doran trying to defend, been pulled back. TP available for Yagao as now he recalls. Elk takes the first Nexus Tower and BLG start to disengage. I'm pretty sure Yagao actually flashed Chovy. Oh, the, the, is the Breath of Life! Oh, just about keeps Pays alive, but now Bin and Shun are looking for more. They've taken Dorm and Bin will fall. Yagao TP's in, no shockwave on him for about 20 seconds, but the EQ flash onto Chovy. He dashes in, but the Elk has the escape tool. Feathers fly and Genji die. A breakdown. Yagao generating pressure on the top side of the map. Shun engages onto Dorm with a 2 0 Zaya. Like four minutes into the game, and yep. BLG are. About to set up for a NG. It's a 14, a 13k gold deficit here. You're fighting against Infernal Soul, even with a steal. I don't think it's enough. The thing is, even if it's a steal, you get the fight that you look for. But Peanut decides against the answer. The minions battering down the base. Shun goes forward with the flag and drag, and that's. Another inhibitor tower forfeit by Genji and happily taken by BLG. Time is running out for Genji, at least in this game, maybe in Worlds, if they can't find a way to fight back against BLG in game three. BLG were underdogs at MSI. They're underdogs hit again at Worlds, but despite that, they stand strong and they're looking to go to match point against Genji. It has been destruction, demolition. The most one-sided series we have seen in a while here at Worlds. Pina has to flash away. The Cataclysm in will end Chobi's day. And now Doran and the rest of Genji can only stand and watch on the fountain. But even there, they are not safe from the unending assault of BLG. And BLG, two and zero. Game number one, it felt, was at least in the early game, a little bit even, a couple of bad decisions from... I'm the wise one, and in this video, we are going to take a look at the best moments of the third game between Gen G and Billabilly Gaming for the World's 2023 quarterfinals. Let's get started. Yeah. Like, if you want to play through bot lane to Dragon, having the, uh, the bot lane that always gets the push helps you out a huge amount, as we see the Dragon secured for BLG. Shunt's coming in only Extenuate those circumstances as the Nature's Grass comes out. Smite secured by Peanut as they look for the engage world ender. Chobi with a great base seal locks up two. Yagao trying to join the fray. Bin low, but he's able to dash away. Doran going forward. First blood to Genji. And signs of life for Genji and signs of life here in Busan. And Yagao doesn't have flash because of the earlier play. We'll see if Peanut can extend, but he That's dies. Peanut goes timber. Ace in the hole onto light. The Glacial Fish are going wide, but flash ignite into the build over Peacemaker is enough for BLG in the bottom lane. More than they need to yeah, do together. But hey, kill. they made it work. 2v2 kill found, oh, delight. delight now. Depth charge onto Elk, he still has flash, he still has heal, but where's he gonna dash to? As the Gen G bot lane comes to life as well. Gen G two and two now. Right. And he's gonna get some gold off the back of that. So a much needed play there for Gen G. Delight finds his opportunity. going in with the Soul unbound, pull back with the shock but he can dash away. The face seal blocked though with the Cataclysm. And Chobi will fall every time Genji get on the board. BLG. Genji can get another play going here as the Drake has been started up. Drake stacking for BLG has been really big this series. Yagao has no ultimate. Peanut has his. The Nature's Grass possibility is there's the Glacier Fisher. Nature's Grass used, but they all line up. Good hook onto the back line as the TP is now invested from either side. Chobi trying to come in from the top side of the fight, but Doran's already dead. And now Pays having to cleanse away. The ace in the hole finds his prey. We saw him do this so much in the G2 series, the rate at which he's able to react with TPs to make these cross maps happen. The moment he sees that door on TP. The level of harassment that this champion can provide is so difficult to deal with. 
and Genji have felt them. I think BLG are actually just going to give this one up. Yep, they just decide top lane tower is more important. Finn makes sure they don't lose the turret off it as well. So it's a Drake for a tower trade across the map. Also, vision control gained once again by BLG up towards the top river. Not too much of it. Wasn't quite able to see exactly how much they got because obviously we see the Oriana there. But there's the TP, Nature's Glass coming out. At the end of the world. TP coming in here. They want to hold to the, uh, onto this turret. Chovy has TP as well. No wards behind for him to get to. And with the snap trap lineup, it's very hard for Genji to hold. They try to invest some resources into defending. Delight is looking for Yagao, but Shun steps in the way. The depths are coming out as well. And the killer instinct, a possibility here for Paisy. Dives in, they find Yagao, the shockwave. It's not going to be enough. And Genji proactively find the enemy mid. Seconds before it's back off cooldown. Yeah, also just in general, going to be hesitant, right, to engage on the Braum as Chovy. Going to use his health bar to make sure he gets his turret. Uh, There's wards behind them as well. The dragon started would be the second for Gen G, down to 5,000. Bin with the Dominus, slowed, stopped by Dorman, who acts as a bodyguard. Now the hook onto Bin, knocked up with a death charge as well as Bin tries to heal himself up. Chovy getting onto the back line with the shockwave, pulls him is out, that? He's shot out. Chovy down, but him is pays to find another the dragon going over, flash away from Elf, twisted advance, they dive as well. On, on the front line, trying to get in the way as Shun forces Pays away. Shun will take down Pays, and Elk still standing like he's ever been for BLG. Elk still survives, but Doran finally comes to life. A triple. Set up the snap trap line, and Genji have to work their way down through the bottom side to make sure they can get in here in time. Delight has the flash, though. They just need vision cleared out by Shun. The dragon down to 4,000 as Genji look to push forward, push BLG off. Infernal change. There's the Nature's Grass as well. The dragon's secured. It's Shun that gets it. Do we see a fight afterwards? Chovy dashing. They pick up the Baron. The Baron has been begun. There's the TP from Chovy. Delight. Looking for vision in the pit, puts a control ward in. Dorman going forward with the world ender. And on the back of the wings of the world ender, Genji look to make their final stand. BLG's fate sealed by the combination of the Aatrox and the Yone. And Busan roars into life. It is the flank. It off a little bit more than they can chew. And at the very least, Genji going to walk away with a Baron here. Well played fight from Genji. Elk didn't even get to use his flash. The collapse was fantastic. Series for them so far. But now you can see their confidence very clearly at the top. The siege will now begin. Tier 2 going to drop in the bot lane. They've kept Chovy in mid. About to crest. We get another full on 5v5. Uh, what I well, assume will be around Baron. Uh, with the amount of control that Genji have, maybe be out this when Genji have the lead. They are a terrifying team to play against. They're really good at suffocating you out. Looking forward, Dorman level 18 already. Able to keep the rest of BOG away and Delight and Dorman teaming up to make sure that BOG are on the back foot as Jovi goes forward, on going in. Shun looking for the Cataclysm as well. Pops his stopwatch as Dorman goes down. The, dra the Baron secured. If BLG can look for more. How much further can they chase? Not much. At least BLG should be able to get themselves some turrets. Maybe even trying to push for an inhibitor here. Bin is going to TP in. I mean, look at top lane. Uh, Chovy's just chosen the split push. He's going to be able to secure that tower. What do BLG do now? I think that this is their best opportunity to actually fight. They have a numbers advantage. An inhibitor will be secured. An exchange of inhibitors when you're down like you are, I think it's kind of the best case scenario for BLG. They are in the driver's seat of this game, but as you said, BLG haven't been given much quarterback. And it might just be a soul into a Baron, into an Elder. So Shun tries to dive onto him. The Mortal Steel gets the knock-up. Doran going forward has been with the Dominus is locked up. Stopwatch, is it enough to buy him enough time to get out? It is for now, but Pei dives forward and Bin dies. And Genji have found the fight they were looking for. They start threatening the Nexus Towers, right? Uh, assuming he can take that inhibitor down, which then should draw them just a single member from BLG away. And there you go, they've unlocked the bottom tower. As the can of minions doing enough work on those inhibitors. Inhibitors in the bottom lane will fall. Pays locked up, flashes away. The Cataclysm will get his GA, but is it enough here for BLG? Doran coming in from the flank as Pays is brought back to life. The flag and the drag from Shun is just found a wanting, but the engage continues from BLG. We'll see what he picks up. Looks like he's going back to boost. Trophy, not done though, wants to pick up this inhibitor. And Gen G, they get away with two. Has the shield, oh. but it's just enough to keep him alive.
BLG were pushing forward to try and fight for the Elder, but Gen G are looking for the Nexus. Shun already called out as they look for more. He's trying to get away, but there's one, there's two, there's more for Gen G. Bay's diving forward, the Killer Instinct living up to its name as Shun tries to get away and will escape to live another day. But the Nexus, the target in the eyes of Gen G as they are looking to fight back in this series. A reverse sweep is what it will take, and Genji have taken the first step. A crazy game. It boiled down. I'm the wise one, and in this video, we are going to take a look at the best moments of the fourth game between Genji and Bila Billy Gaming for the world's 2023 quarterfinals. Let's get started. From Dorwin, but he can be stopped by Bin, and he is in fact in the top lane. Delight looked for the engage flash away from on. Shun can go in now. EQ flash away from Pays. The flash doesn't follow, but Pays is dead. The flip back onto on is not enough. On not tanking the tower. Abyssal Voyage forward. The dodge from Delight. He still has flash. Elk now tanking the tower. Shun and on haven't hit Elk. Shun's coming down as well. This way, pushing away from Pays and Delight means that Shun. Can just push forward himself. Elk trying to open up with the Rangers. Focus the engage onto Elk. He still has flash heal, but he doesn't have time to get out. Delight gets the kill. Not what you would have wanted for Gen G. Meanwhile, Bin trading with Doran in the top lane, and I know who's winning this one. Cassante doing Cassante things as the double flash has been used, but there's no dodge for the Q3 unless Doran puts on his dancing shoes. Can't find them in time. Bin with a solo. Look at the first That's game for. They're definitely not down and out just yet, but they needed to make something happen. But should now looking for something. Now looking for the flank as well. No flash on Pays, none on Delight either, or even Peanut. Pays pops the cleanse, but he's being locked up and he'll be shut out of the battle. Shun takes the kill. Delight next on the menu. He's ready for a tongue lashing. Yagao. Drake going over. Doran picks at least up a little bit of gold, but I think BLG is going to take that trade anytime whoa, whoa, as they whoa, teleport. Whoa. But Shun is on his way. Like, can you kill Bin? At this point, you We're have about to find out. Only Medic. a Divine Sundra, the Equalizer down onto Bin, doesn't take too much damage. The Viftel charges in, the Magnet Storm there, as well as the Enchanted Crystal Arrow hits underneath the tower. Bin dashing away, surviving Fate's Call used as well, but Peanut, with excessive force, finds the kill. Does mean yeah, the Just look at what you're playing into, the carries. And uh, like, aside from Tom Kench, we might see it right here. Just looking for Elk, maybe trying to get the Devourer down. Does have the flash, doesn't have the flash, in fact, to get away. Enchanted Crystal Arrow into the Magnus Storm. Chovy extending forward, but the Devourer still available for BLG here as Pace tries to get on towards the back line. But Delight now pulled out with the Fates Call. Abyssal Voyage forward by On. Chovy walking away, wounded on with the flash forward. And Shun coming in from the side. Chovy cataclysmed and brought to his knees, and BLG strike. I mean, that may be the biggest. You can see you go. Walking yeah. forward, I'm nah, just going to clear the way. Not Shun, feeling it. Just taking the red as well. And I, I think a lot of it comes down to what you mentioned, Chronicler, which is they invested a lot. Dissuade yes. BLG, so it would be at least one tower. Maybe two if they wanted to go in with the charge, but it looks like instead they will retreat and work their way towards and BLG's blue. Can Chovy survive what could be a five-man dive? Gao coming in as a clone of Elk, and Chovy will realize as the arrow hits, he might be just caught out. He tries to flash, but he can't get away in time. Knocked back with the Intopos. And Chovy stayed a little bit too long. Didn't respect the arrow from Elk. He'll be investing his flash right in yeah. the previous play. Didn't have it. So it's going to be a very favorable trade here for BLG. Genji is able to answer. So it's the era of LPL dominance returning after a brief delay last year at Worlds. Peanut stepping forward here as the engage comes in from BLG and Peanut's locked up. Yagao pops blossoms as Genji starts to go pop. The equalizer coming down and Shun now on the wrong side of the rip, but he can just EQ back to join his team. Pays rooted with the tango bars as Chovy looks for the backline of the Devourer. Save for this event. To the Baron. No smite for Genji, but a fight perhaps begins to materialize. No tango barbs, remember, for BLG, only the Cataclysm. And the Devourer put on. Do you go in with a Magnus Storm? You do, Delight tries to dive in. Doran trying to burn BLG alive as on. It's taken out by the re-engage from BLG. Perfection executed once again. Doran and Chovy in a 2v4 fighting for the lives of Gen.G, for the lives of the LCK, but can't find it, BLG. And now Gen.G staring down a very, 
long walk back into this game. Two items complete on Pei's Ginsu's and the Blade of the Ruin King. Yagao here, cease and desist coming out as they try and lock him up. Doesn't have the flash, but has the pot. Blossom, Choby dashes in, dashes back, dashes out, and dashes forward for the kill. Peanut takes it. Can they get out, though? Looks like they will be. BLG don't want to over-invest towards the top side of the map on the cross map. Bin is able to still push, but the Red Bull Baron... Oh, BLG down a little bit, but I don't know if it's enough. The wave play. Oh! Magnusaur flash engaged, the equalizer down as well of the TP. Genji you pull the trigger, and they're looking to burst out Elk. Joby dashing around, and Elk will fall. It's hunting season for Genji, and they found what could be the biggest kill of them all. They found a way back into game four. I thought that it wouldn't be enough, but Genji just shut me right up. A beautiful engage in mid lane. Catches BLG completely off guard. And just like that, as you said, Medic, Genji have found a lifeline. Might be able to get the kill on Bin here as well, and he's going to be disjointed. Uses the mobility. Oh god, Kasante takes. Yeah, Bin just doing Bin things here on the Kasante, and Tofu's come out. Shield! The sh it's late, so late is not enough. The shield's not enough to keep Kasante alive. I draw my eyes towards the mid lane, and I look at these items now being finished for Chobi. Level 15, soon to hit level 16. Elk. Equalizer. Elk has flash heal. He tries to get across the wall and gets into the Razor Meat pit, but on is deleted. Chobi looking for more. He's going to dive forward into four members. He has a stopwatch, but does he have enough time? The Pop Blossom comes out. Chobi survives as he gets off towards the top side, and there is Yagao. And Busan roars into life once again. Gets caught out on. Die saving Elk. The momentum has clearly swung. In the light, you guys were talking about him earlier. We're going to be keeping our eyes on him. As the game continues, he made that mid lane game saving play. Let's see Look if Shun. he can find another. Shun looking for a fight. Look away. Oh, Nina, delight. The and delight goes in. On trying to keep Elk alive. The pop blossom comes out just in time from Yagao. But Yagao is yeah. gone. And BLG might be too. Elk trying to do everything he can. But Elk has been mounted on a wall. Delight survives. BLG die. Please. And Gen G do it all. They have fought back from the absolute brink in game two. And it looks like we're going all the way. He doesn't. And to me, this rumble, I don't even feel like Doran is necessarily having a pop-off game, but the rumble has just made it so hard consistently. But as you already pointed out, the big enabler of all of this, just assassinating out. And then while all of that is happening, Pays is untouched. So he's just freely dishing out this damage. Five kills for him now. 2-1-11 for Doran. A 6k goal lead for Jim. them. And the biggest prize of all of that Nexus. The arrow. The arrow onto Doran, but Delight is in the way. If BLG overstep, there's the equalizer already. Doran getting chunked out, and Doran is done so. Chovy pushing in the mid lane. Delight can re engage. No flash for him to disengage this, Shun. though. Shun misses the flag and drag across the wall. The stun from Delight. Chovy starting to collapse. For Genji. And if Yagao can find a flank, that'll be the difference maker. Chronicle was talking about it earlier. Oh, here we go! The Devourer immediately delight tanky enough, but Chovy is being dealt with by PLG right now. The Pop Blossom doesn't find it. Pace flashes the wall and immediately engages. Chovy's on a rampage now, and Genji are just grinding up PLG. A double for Chovy. They wipe them away. The TP towards mid. Genji are done with this game. He's 17 and he's flashing over a wall with his back against the wall. Pace still find the play. Bindo. You know, relentless force. And even more aggression from Genji. Delight in pays after being put behind in the early game of putting on a clinic here at 35 minutes. It's game five, a reverse sweep on the cards for Genji. And Busan and all Korea are behind them. This series has taken a turn. After game number two, it felt like a repeat of MSI. I'm the wise one, and it's now or never. Welcome to the last game of this insane series. Let's take a look at the best moments of the fifth game between Gen G and Billabilly Gaming for the World's 2023 quarterfinals. Let's get started. Doran underneath the tower, EQ flashes over. Doran able to flash away. Oh, and I will take him down, and he will fall first plot. 
to BLG. Shun's Jarvan, man. Okay, the lanes get you. Yeah. Like Bin pushes in the wave, goes place of ward at the crux. Spot lane gets pushed in, on can walk up, place a ward at the blue buff. You can see even now, Yagao actually the one to get that ward over the wall. And BLG using the fact they have push mid, push bot, will get the first Drake of the game. A little later than some of the ones we've seen, but still relatively fast at only seven minutes in. You can see Genji accepting the fact that BLG invest the resources. We don't really want to have to react instantaneously to it, so instead we'll give it up. Get push in top lane, still going in. No TP. Gets out of his deficit that was set up earlier with Bin getting the early kill, and there is no cross map. You saw everyone on BLG war or, uh, decided to recall the moment they saw the play. It wasn't. Yeah. You do now. Double TP invested. Bin still no flash. Does have the equalizer. Chovy dancing around. Season assist available to Peanut. Doesn't use it because Bin is already done for. Chovy takes the kill. Meanwhile, the Magnet Storm onto Elk. He tries to flash away. Pay stepping forward. Has the killer instinct on. Is pushing in the side lane. No TP for him to join the fight. Yagao with a shockwave, but Pays takes him out. The killer instinct finds its mark. Dorman locked up with the last embrace, but I don't think... But instead just ends up throwing his flash into nothing. The only benefactor for BLG is on. It's a, <laughs> it's a situation where I love Genji as the game has gone on. they kind of realized, hang on a minute. This. At the very least, BLG are able to make sure that they get a topside turret. Doran will immediately answer back. And we'll see if Genji is able to respond or if BLG is going to get another charge. And this, you know, the only goal they obviously, uh, the way. Oh, Yagao with the sidestep was going back to the wave. But still the dragon, though. Genji used the time to take the Drake, and BLG will have Pryo down the mid lane. But how much can they get out of that? The tower is still standing for now, but not for much longer. It will be full FL. BLG gets it's a mistake some. from Genji. BLG won't do it too quickly. It's only Shun, Yagao, and Bin there Dorn right now. Mega. Coming in as well. But Dorn's they don't know. Fall off Mega. Delight can step forward. The control ward in the Baron pit allows Genji vision of it. Elk still trying to do what he can. The equalizer down. Pays on as well as well. Oh, right. the storm hits on three. Chovy dives onto the back line but misses. The Shuriken as Delight will fall first. Pays doing everything he can as Pina has to dash away. The center will hit him from long range. Now Doran forced away. It's a two for one so far in favor of BLG. Dorvin just now. An incredibly tense situation. Chovy going in. Caught with the last embrace, but he goes into the Twilight Shroud. TP now invested by Genji. The Dragon. No flash up. Dorvin able to dash away. Shun going in with Cataclysm, but now Delight can really open up. Magnus Storm not quite off cooldown. Dorvin has a stopwatch, but all he can buy is the second. The equalizer now out. Dorvin falls. Chovy looking to hit him. He dashes back in with the Abyssal Voyage. So. Brings him forward. And Chovy is shut out of the fight, BLG find two. And that might be it, that's too long with the stopwatch. Wants to get his Meganor, ends up going down, and then on. Knocks off Chovy, that's going to be Baron. Doran holds his flash. Genji. The uncoordinated and BLG pounce. Gets knocked up by on and is immediately in the middle of BLG and now with a Red Bull Baron power play for the next two minutes. Gen G's backs are against the ropes. The gold lead right now. The hometown favorites of Gen G. Ultimate, Peanut. Peanut. Onto Shun, the Killer Instinct going forward as well. They can lock Shun up and they'll shut him out. The shutdown over to Pays. 30 seconds. Delight spotted by Shun. Mid lane tower falls to Gen G, but BLG will get a tier two in the top lane in answer. Baron's still here. BLG, they know where Peanut is. Chovy can TP though, but ideally he wants the back. Doesn't get to. Now TPing in as well. Chovy gets in, has to dash away, but Shun still able to land. The knock of the shockwave was waiting, couldn't quite find his mark, but the flames are spitting from Bin and Chovy cataclysmed into an early grave, and now Genji on the back foot. BLG, five members strong, will take the inhib. Will they look for more? I mean, why wouldn't they? They have the Nexus in their eyes. BLG are looking to end it here. Hayes, Doran, Delight, and Peanut. Four members strong for Genji, trying to defend, but BLG as five push in the first Nexus tower down. Delight can the still mega. engage. The shockwave fights oh! two, but the Magnus Storm from Delight onto the back line immediately. Locks up BLG for a second, and now back from Doran as well. It's all it's on not enough. He's trying to do everything he can. The season desist under the tower will shut out Bin. Pays dancing and weaving his way around the fight. No minions left. The gold is pretty much dead even. 
but it feels like that this series has been all about one Drake away from a Cloud Soul. They are one Nexus Tower away from a Nexus. One moment away from a semi final matchup. Out what little vision Genji have. Delight needs to be careful. Carson Grace going to hit him. He's going to try and jump away, but the chase is on. The Equalizer coming out as well. Delight can look for the re-engage. Dorman goes in with the Meganar. Pays now dives onto the back line. Delight already down, but they killed off Elk as well. Shun tries to get in with the Cataclysm, and he'll get the shot down onto Pays. And now it's all on Chobi. He's dashing. He's dancing around the fight. The perfect execution for BLG may be too much. Chobi buys a second, but he just can't buy the win. BLG forced Gen G out of the room. The moment I saw Elk drop, I thought, Pace can carry this whole fight, but then it was Yakao Shockwave combined with Shun's ultimate that was enough to shut him down the finals. And an organization that has defied expectations as the, the TP. TP comes in behind. Chobi looking for something. Delay already caught out by Bin. He's going to have to dash away. On going in with the Abyssal Voyage. Chobi looking for that flank position, but the oh! Equalizer coming down. And now, oh, once again, doesn't quite get him into the wall. Elk gobbled up as On is going to spit him out, and the tower's already gone down. Dawning Shadow out as Peanut Bulls. Everyone on Gen G is so low. Elk still full HP pretty much as he heals up with a piercing dark. And Gen G just cannot find the pick they're looking for. That's going to be two inhibitors down now, and BLG, they might try and look for the end. And everything invested by Gen G. No ult on Delight, not on Pays either. Yagao still has the shockwave to send a shock through the crowd here in Busan. Pays low again, rooted up. The shockwave just short. The stopwatch from Pays buys a second, but Shun still has the GA. Chobi trying to clear out the minions as the Nar back from Dorman once again. GA. But on just tanks for days. GA coming out from Shun, and now it's all on Chobi. That's it's it. all on Pays. And we were told Busan was the church of Chobi. But what's a god to five non-believers? BLG will face Weibo in semis. It might have not gone in the same manner as it did at MSI, but it's BLG that walks away the victory.